some new faces on the practice fields of the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex. Yes, there are the rookies and new players via free agency, but there's also three new coaches. We caught up with some players during the first week of OTAs to learn more about defensive backs coach Tom Bradley, defensive line coach Carl Dunbar, and the new wide receivers coach Daryl Drake. A guy who's been around for a long time and seen so much in his game. I've been in the game a lot. He still has uh, great energy. Uh, and he's passionate about his coaching and taking the meetings uh, to the drill work, to the drill work, to the uh, field. He really know what he's doing. Um, we got a lot of new drills and just learning a lot of whole new technique and things like that. So it's great to have him. I like Coach Bradley. Um, he's a real smart guy. You know, he's been there. He's coached for years. Been D coordinator. So you know, he has extreme knowledge for the game. I'm just looking forward to trying to you know learn from him and gain as much as I can from him. We miss Mitch, of course, but it's. It's part of the business. Um, Coach Dunbar here now, some of the technique things different. He brings a lot of new drills and a lot a lot of other new things that we we never seen before. Uh, he, he does a really good job breaking stuff down for us uh, in the film room, and I like that. I, I like learning by example. All right, so that was the player perspective of the three new coaches, and of course we have to talk about offensive coordinator Randy Feekner. Joining me now is Mike Prasuda, and I know you were very intrigued by one of the coaches in particular starting back at rookie minicamp. Yeah, the, the thing about these guys, and, and you're referencing Daryl Drake, the wide receivers coach, it's not what you see, Missy, almost as much as it is what you hear. They are involved, they are engaged, and Daryl Drake's got a great way of communicating. He says things to his players such as, catch with your eyes. And when they're trying to navigate cones for footwork, he says, feel the cones. So you're feeling with your feet and catching <laughs> with your eyes. It's a new way of doing things, but I think the involvement is what strikes me. Not that the guys they replaced were not involved, but these are new guys mm -hmm. who have shown up and they have jumped into the deep end of the pool. There's no easing in. There's no feeling out. Here it is. This is what I want you to do. This is how I want you to do it. And they're even out here in OTAs are ramifications when it's not done right. Right, and Tom Bradley, who when we were talking to Sean Davis, said he knew me the first second I met him. He's a big film guy, and he went back and watched every single one of the Steelers games from last season to learn about the guys he had coming in. Yeah, big film guy. Uh, from what the players have said, he writes a ton of stuff on the board in the meeting room. He's got cards out here. They're showing them what they want done, sometimes on a drill-by-drill -drill basis. Uh, and you can hear Tom. I don't think he has stopped yeah. talking since he got hired. <laughs> And I mentioned Randy Feekner when we were talking to Antonio Brown on Wednesday. He said he has an accountability sheet, and you don't want to make it. He keeps track of dropped passes, uh, missed throws, different things like that. So we know A.B. is the ultimate competitor, and OTAs matter to him, and he doesn't want to be on that list, but that's something that he's preaching to the offense. Yeah, Ramon Foster talked about Randy Feekner as well as a guy who's brought fresh ideas and kind of a fresh presence, and Ramon was pretty clear he didn't want to disparage any of the previous coordinators, but Randy Feekner's in a new role, mm -hmm. and so there's a new way of doing things, and it's kind of energizing for these guys. It's, it was the same way for a long time, and now it's different, and sometimes change is good. All right, first week of OTAs in the books. We'll be back next week. Thanks for joining us.